I'm really bad looking at a crystal ball. I tend to sort of focus on the, the, the immediate and the, the little details. So looking at, at the future, um, I can't even imagine um, the, the fact that technology changes so rapidly, I can't imagine where it'll be in 10 years. The industry has changed a lot over the years. Uh, it's, it's, it boomed in the late 1990s, it's, it's settled down. So there's a, a little more stability in the industry now, and, uh, but the, the, the research is still uh, exciting and there's still always exciting new things to see at SIGGRAPH. Over the years, I've met people in, in emerging technologies and uh, research and production and so all these different communities, it's a time for them to get together and, and meet together and exchange ideas and grow. Every year when I go to SIGGRAPH, I'm both inspired and depressed. I see all the amazing uh, technology and all the new research that's being produced, and I'm so inspired to go home and try some of it, and I'm so depressed at how great everybody else is. It would be probably the same advice that I would have given my younger self, which is to get involved in the community, make the contacts. Um, there, there are so many um, luminaries at SIGGRAPH that you can meet, um, and, and it can happen at any time. Um, you can be standing in a line for an event and, and be next to someone from, from Google or from Pixar. And, and if you don't take advantage of those opportunities, you can miss out on a lot of, uh, a lot of things. But I wish I had a clone so that I could uh, actually attend more things at SIGGRAPH because there's always something that you miss. Because the, there are so many things going on, you can't actually get to everything at SIGGRAPH.